Hello and welcome to iGameOver channel. If you're seeing this video as a first, you probably might want to, although not necessarily, see the intro to this series. But if you think you don't need to, then you just can keep watching from this point onward, okay? So, in this episode, and this is the first episode of the series, we're going to install a graphics card. So, how to install a graphics card? Well, it is actually much simpler than you think, although for many, the task might seem a little daunting. You know, open the computer, find the right place, and you know, which way does it go? What do I connect? And so on and so forth. You know, there are ports and connectors and everything is fragile and, and so on. So lots of people will actually go to a shop and pay people to do it. But I'm here to show you that you don't have to do this. Like, you can actually do it yourself. So how do you do it? Let's jump right to it. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use a EVGA's GTX 1060 gaming card, which is a, a smaller single fan card. This will fit into our mini ITX uh, gaming build really, really nicely. On the back plate, we have a DVI-D port, a single HDMI port, and three DisplayPort ports, which will allow us to connect this card to pretty much any monitor on the market. And finally, at the back and top of the card, we have a single six pin power connector. Note that your mileage might vary and your card might have two of those. With that out of the way, we can now put this baby graphics card in our computer. First of all, we need to locate a PCI connector, which is on our motherboard on the bottom, but if you have a bigger motherboard, it might be somewhere in the middle. Now that we located our desired PCIe slot, we can finally continue installing our graphics card. The back plate of the graphics card will sit right there. Also, it will go between the case and the motherboard right there. Take your graphics card and align this part to your PCIe slot. Once you have everything fitted and aligned, press it firmly until it clicks in place. Make sure that your mounting screw is firmly, well, screwed in so that it holds your graphics card firmly in place. And then proceed to connecting your six, eight, or whatever amount of pins power supply cable that you have. Congratulations, your graphics cards is now officially installed and ready to use. So what do you think? It wasn't that bad, wasn't it? It's actually a short work and you can upgrade your graphics card or just put a brand new graphics card if you haven't had one before and, and it's just really not that bad, isn't it? Definitely not worth spending, uh, you know, whatever amount of money you would have to spend to go to the shop for the, you know, um, so professionals to to do it for you, I mean, so-called professional. Some of them are actually are, but it's a hit and miss sometimes, isn't it? So, now you can do it yourself. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and click that, you know, little bell icon by the subscribe button, uh, because that will allow you to actually get notified when the new uh, part of the series comes up. Uh, you won't have to just depend uh, on uh, YouTube, so a little bit um, sketchy sometimes. Uh, you know, notification systems. Leave the comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll be very happy to answer them. Share the video if you would want to, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.